have urgent news. Scientists around the world are sounding the alarm. They have detected a change in the trajectory of the asteroid Totatus. It will inevitably collide with Earth in just two years. Well then, I um, guess it's time to get this lady project going. Currently selling the data, the diameter of the asteroid is almost six kilometers. If such a celestial body collides with Earth, the consequences will be very dire. Indeed. Crust has indeed. already contacted us and provided plans for the construction of a laser system that will help deflect the asteroid's course and save millions of lives. We must focus on this director. All other tasks are secondary. Attention, all departments. Our new priority is the construction of a laser system to save Earth from the asteroid Tutatis. We face a serious threat and time is of the essence. All departments and specialists must begin their tasks for the new mission immediately. Detailed instructions will follow shortly. End of message. Hi, Tutatis. The sky is falling. I knew it. Asterix was right. I knew it. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the crust. We have started the laser project, so we can actually get the things done and do the things and sort the things out. So it's been a while. I've been holding off for this for a really, really, really long time. So um, yeah, I think we need to do that. I've been doing some contracts between as well. We've got uh, 430,000, but yeah. Uh, oh, Ledger, um, you might say that all the care about is profit, but to complete such a large scale construction, a colossal amount of resources needed. The contract system and the trading and trading on the online market will help earn the funds to protect will help earn the funds to purchase the missing resources and expand our own production. We agreed on across with a suitable place for construction in the southeast of our base. I have marked it on the map. We can proceed with land the foundation. I thought this was voiced. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Right, so let's go and have a look, shall we? Uh first of all, let's go and spend some resources, uh spend some science or something. Um we're getting through the tech tree. The tech tree's almost done um crimson scout rover uh increases the organ need that we're gonna need that so we'll do that Boom. okay right so ba -ba -da -ba -da, and down here but we have the laser gun it needs loads of stuff do we have a spare transport we do we do awesome what resources do we have that we can do here actually we can do all of that straight now sweet let's do that Boom. now there is a thing with this um the rover is only capable of carrying 4,000 items. I think right now when you expand it, it goes to 5,000, maybe 6,000. But the rover can only carry so many goods. This is too much for it. So you could either choose to only send like one at a time, um, which can work. You can have multiple rovers. You could send the brick in one rover. You could send the um, iron in another one and the titanium in another one. You could do that. Uh, you could send one and then bring it back and send another one. That's also useful for if you just want to like so you know you're lacking a resource. I say we didn't have as much um, steel, but we are producing steel. So we know we have enough steel. We just don't have it now. We can send the brick, the smart concrete. The drones will load the expedition center. It would send the smart concrete down. And as the rover is driving down there and come back again, you fill up on steel. Rather than waiting for the rover to be here for the steel, you can you can move it all in one go. So you can do that. However, I said it's only got 4,000 storage. If you overfill it, it's fine. It will fill with 4,000 goods. It will drive. It will come back. It will fill the next one. It will drive. It will come back. And it will, it will do it. It will do whatever you tell it to do. It will do. It just might take multiple trips to do it. So do bear that in mind. Because if you overfill it and it leaves, if you then put another rover into your expedition center to do another mission, and that's that doesn't have the resources to do it, so it's waiting for resources, then this rover cannot finish the mission. So bear in mind if you're doing multiple things with the expedition center that you might block one from another from the other so yeah i tend to not do moon contracts myself just because of that reason because then i know the expedition center is free for for this so i'm gonna overfill this one because we have all the resources so boom. um it will it will do its thing so the rover will come along it will drive into here um don't have to worry about powering the expedition center on it will work even when it's powered off strange i know but it does um it also appears that the large vehicle assembly facility will build vehicles when it's powered off but the small one won't the small one must be powered to build a vehicle but the large one will build it and the exposition center works without power so you can save 75 power just by having it always turned off it's weird i know but yeah 
However, we don't have the resources to do the rest of the project. Now, I have future information because I've um, done a lot of streaming and playing this game already. Um, you need uh, <laughs> modular frames. You need 3,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then 4,500. So, what's that? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a half thousand. You need 10,000 modular frames in total. Uh, we currently have 726. <laughs> so, we need to upscale that one desperately. Also, nanotubes. You need a lot of nanotubes as well. Um, I think it's something like 5,000 nanotubes. I'm sure somebody has written down somewhere exactly how much you need for it. So, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, so I need to up the um, nanotubes, we need to up the um, everything, the everything, you need to up up the everything. Also, this is probably not enough carbon, but you need a lot of carbon fibre as well. Carbon fibre is backed up, we're up to 2,456. The problem is, I thought this would be enough, having the two in here. No, uh, modular frames only stack to 512 in each one of these. You need 10,000 of them. That's 20 of these guys. That's 20 of these guys. You don't need 10,000 in one hit, so we don't have to worry about that. But, yeah. Um, carbon fiber, however, where is carbon fiber being stored? Carbon fiber is being stored here. Um, this acts to, to that. I think the first one of these is like 3,000, so we don't have enough carbon fiber, technically. Uh, what I really need to do is I need to get this running properly. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to up the priority of this building as well. Discovered um, uh, with this building here. Um, bots will take from it when there's a demand of things, so like they're taking steel because this needs steel. <clears throat> However, if you set it to a priority, then they will take from it first. So they don't take from your resources over here, they take from this one, which you probably want to empty your one from this one. The only problem is that you cannot empty from one storage to another storage. There's no option to tell your rovers to empty this storage, so they won't pick anything up here. So the belt will block up with stuff so this has got stuff in it and it's just it's just gonna it, yeah the only real way you can do that is to put multiple ones down um and have a belt come out and and yeah so it's about the only way i can think of doing that so mm, yeah um i don't like doing sushi belts where you have multiple items on there that's what this is it's a sushi belt model because of that reason if the steel fills up with 128 then none of the other projects none of the, none of the other objects sorry can come out of this and i don't like that but with this building, you are limited to the amount of things you can take out of it with belts, so you're stuck with it. And if we turn on this here, they will come and pick up the regolith from here. And drones seem to like picking regolith up. They seem to be focused on that rather than doing other things. So, yeah. Yeah. But what we want to do is we need to upgrade these guys to be faster. We need to put belts in to do that. We have enough money, I think, to do the belt thing now. So let's, let's do the belt thing. Um, do the belt thing uh, and we'll get going here so uh, do I have the tech uh, I need to remind myself where I am on the tech tree uh, full reset we do have full cool okay awesome right um, can I turn off at the source pause again so uh, let me grab the mark 4 belts so you want to go into that one you want to go into that one and you come out from there to there and go into that one. That's the best way I can do that. It really is one of the best ways you can possibly do that. So, And also, I need to filter all these because if you don't filter them, they will grab random stuff, which is very annoying. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Um, also, I don't know why they don't show the item that's filtered on here. They, they really should, or some indication that it is a filtered belt would be nice to know what what it is because there's no difference here just looking at a glance as to what the other ones are so i don't know but i do know i've now filtered the water red lift so that's fine um i don't think i can filter the belts this side no you can only filter the belts that are connected to it so uh, what i want to do um th this one's smart filter because it knows this cannot store certain things so it knows that however uh, the elevator can accept everything so therefore items will come out of these belts to the elevator even though the elevator downstairs is connected to um, a regular storage only. Because this is a storage building technically in between them, you have to filter the belts. You can get around it if you if we was to put small containers here and have um, like the belts come out and go into uh, 
the bulk storage. We could do that. We could put these down, four of these down. We'll put one down, have all of the four come out to the one. Well, that won't work, but yeah. put four down, or two down, have two belts come into one, and then two belts come out and go to another one. You could do that, and then you would have to fill the belts. That'd be fine. Um, I might do that here. For the uh, rare of met metals, we will poss possibly, possibly, which is a mix between possibly and probably, uh, need ice as well at some point but i'm really hoping that we'll just empty these out here and i can get rid of this um and then i don't i don't know i don't know how to um <laughs> the only other way is to basically have one of these out here be rare of metals or something instead oh uh, also if i actually connect that belt up that would probably help Boop. Oh, yeah um so have three go to this and have one go to rare of metals like like these three go to this one and then one comes out to rare of metals uh to go down um which would be fine these are 600 speed the belt speeds yeah 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 60 150 240 450 600 why why <laughs> it doesn't make any sense um um all machines when you upgrade them go in multiples that don't add up to those numbers um so uh, yeah i don't uh um yeah so we have three belts of 600 coming in here and then it will split down to these guys which will be um eight doing 240. so it'll come in here and it will split and it will go to eight doing 240. so that is 3.2 of the fastest belts so you couldn't really run three but then you could because these will back up eventually you're not going to use 100% of the resource all the time, although you could try and build a factory to that. That'd be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So these go to 12. Then the next upgrade is 18. So at 12, they are double the single belt, but the, the double the first belt, but the second belt is 150, not 120. So it makes no sense. And then they go to 18, um, and that's 240. So it's like, why, why is it 60, 150? Why is it not 120? Then 240. Then 480 and then nah, whatever that one will be just don't do the mark five belt do four belts go to 480 maximum that'll do 480 is fine because then that's two of these so yeah i don't i don't i don't know, I don't know. anyway um right, so that'll do that there that'll do that there but uh we'll, we'll sort out the ice and rare of metals later the rare of metals are going to come out probably over here and then this will be processing rare of metals here Right now it's down here, but we'll get that done. Okay, what belt's here, what belt's here? So we want to have this be the Mark 5 belt because we want to split it into 240, and two 240s are more than 450. This is why I don't like these belt numbers. I just don't like them. They're, they don't conform to any um, multiples that makes any sense, and and like that's, that's more than double that, but less than half of that or more than half of that which makes no sense so that's in the wrong place it's instead of being like uh 60 120 it's 650 so this belt's closer to this one so yeah and then 240 goes to 450 which should be 480 so this one's closer to that one and this one's over here so if you can imagine them in a row you, you've got you've got like the mark one belts there instead of the mark two belts being next to it they're actually like over here then you've got the mark three belts which are there then the mark four belts are there um and then the mark five belts are like here somewhere because they're not quite twice before 80 but they're, they're it's it's weird it's, there's 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 this gap there's this gap in the speeds between the two and then this belt should technically be like almost on top of this one and this one should be close to it as well the three middle belts are odd speeds like yeah i don't i don't yeah sorry going on around every time every time i come to use a belt in this game i get annoyed because they don't make sense. They just don't make sense. I don't know why their their speeds they are. Um, if the, if the machines went at those speeds as well, okay, fair enough, that's fine. But the machines don't go at those speeds, so yeah. Uh, right, what speed are you belts? How do I find out what speed they are? You are red belts. That's exactly what I want. You are red belts. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So red belts are two forty. Should put these closer so we save money on delivery but yeah doesn't matter um and then we want to have 
don't go from there to there and from there to there. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This one. <laughs> I don't go from there to there and from there to there. Same here. So they split evenly between the two. And then we have a Mark IV belt, which will come down here to here. Doop. And then go from there to there. Once we have a Mark V belt, technically, uh, you should feed directly into that one. Yes, because we actually planned this properly. My God, planned something amazingly well. Um, and you will go into there. Much better than the uh, the live stream playthrough, where it's all a little bit messy. Um, you cannot even see the connections in here, but they are connected. It's another one of those weird things where you can't even see the belts in there, but they are physically connected. I cannot connect a belt to any of these four outputs. So that's fine. However, these ones are not connected because reasons, which I'm unaware of. Um, boom. Okay. So, um, I guess I didn't turn it off upstairs. No, I didn't turn it off upstairs, did I? Nope. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Oh, we need a Mark 4 belt there. And I think that's it. I think we're good. But oop, and then you should start splitting there. And the reason I'm doing this is that it's a 450 belt that splits into 240, which doesn't technically work because it should be 480. Hence why you need the Mark 5 belts to get 600. Splits into 240. 240s go into here. The maximum speed you can upgrade these two is 240, so there's no point in doing a faster belt for that. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. We want to upgrade all the belts in there. We used most of our money. We want to upgrade all the belts inside here. And all the belts inside here want to be... Um, I mean, when they get down to here, they really need to be higher. Some of these can output like 60 ago. So 60 times 8 is 480. And that would be beautiful. Beautiful. If the Mark 4 belt was... You, you get it. You get it. Uh, so we need to go to Mark 5 belts for all the internals for this as well. So, yeah, it's going to be ridiculous amounts of actual uh, money needed. Um... I'm really hoping that I got this kind of right. Uh, as in the power poles. I think I think I staggered the power poles on purpose, didn't I? Did we stagger the power? I think we did. I think we did. I'm going to use Mark II belts to start with. Um, so you go to there. You go to there. Which means you... Go to there, you go to there. Every time I build this, I seem to build it differently. So I'm confusing myself a little bit here. So yeah, so uh, you will go to there, which goes to there, which goes to there. And then you go to here, which goes to here, which goes to here. Okay. You input into there, input into there. Uh, you input into there, and you go to there. You input into there, you go into there. Uh, you go through, and then these connect to it. Uh, you go through. It's just the end ones where it wasn't connected properly. So you go through, you go through, you go through, and then you two just connect to this. Silly, silly uh, thing in the way, and then you go that way. So all the belts are turning the same direction. No, they're not. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not. I really don't know if that's right or not. Um, so I'm just going to just going to plug it in and see what happens, and hope and pray um, that everything's right. So. Uh, you'll go out to that belt which ends up on this belt so this main belt coming through here which you can't see properly um, is this one so that's correct uh, this is this one here so what's that on the floor that's uh, things are you ah you should be allowed drop off I don't know why I'm allowed picking up on them but they should be allowed drop off so um yeah oh, no. 
are struggling to deal with our some uh, um, smart concrete as well. So there's that. Have you done this already? Oh, nearly, nearly. Need a couple more smart concrete and then we're done, which is eating all our smart concrete down, but that's fine. That's that's not a problem. I don't think you need any more concrete for the rest of it. Um, it all becomes, basically you need carbon fiber nanotubes and um, modular frames, like three times. Three times you deliver to it. So yeah, um, I don't know what the final pieces are because I've had issues with it, with the last uh, doing things. So what are you doing? You're... Oh, you're our external one, so yeah. Uh, oh, and then if I click and then shift click on all of these. What have I done here? I haven't connected this one up, have I? Nope, there you go. Oh, and now all the machines will be working, not working at full speed because we don't have the full input speed. Well, most of them will be actually because most of them aren't upgraded. So yeah, um, but we see here the outputs are blocked. Uh, and that is because the belt just isn't fast enough. We need to upgrade the belts. But I, I know that this, not this exact layout, because I use a different layout every time I build it, as I've said. Um, but most of it seems to require, seems to... Um, uh, seems to need the fastest belts. And it costs almost a million credits to build the belts just inside here. It's like half a million credits to build the belts. Um, uh, or it's, it's about a million to build if you're just building straight from Mark 5. So, yeah. <laughs> Belts are expensive. Belts are very expensive. We also need to build storages out here. Our slag. Uh, let's get some belts going off this here. What speed belt did I do here? So, Mark 2 belt for this one as well. Again, I think this is going to need to be faster. So you'll go to there, which will go to there. Run through, run through. I'm gonna run through. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna to need to upgrade these, but. Build all, there you go. Copy and paste, 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 paste settings. Um, and then output, I'm not sure. Use Mark 2 belts to output. I think I did. Yeah, use Mark 2 belts to output as well here. Uh, also, this is. Uh, this layout is bad. Because um, we're pushing everything into it, and what ends up is that these ones end up using uh, empty nest lag, and the ones early on don't end up empty nest lag. Um, what I should have done is technically these belts here should be slower, and then the main line should be faster. So each one feeds onto the main line and the main line gets rid of the stuff faster. But then we also need to deal with getting rid of all the concrete, which uh, is a bit of a problem here because... Uh, um, because because this isn't just not... This this needs to be struck down, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, let's add a couple more there. So if I was to bring this down to, let's say... Um, level with that guy there Oop. let me get rid of those uh, we have one two one two one two oh cool so we just have a single line at the start which would be weird we'd have to maybe move the door as well um i could move these all over and have the door in the center one two three four five six seven no i couldn't um <laughs> I don't know whether we need to make this room any bigger though, because I don't know how much CPU we're going to need. Well, lots, because we need lots more machines. But it's getting the, the materials processing first. That's the important part. So yeah, uh, aluminium is uh, kind of full and never used anywhere. So I'm using aluminium for making the micro circuits, so that's fine. We can extend this down now even further because uh, well, this is still here, but so we can make more micro circuits. Uh, uh, fuel, we don't really need because that's not doing anything. This is not running at all. Most of this is not running. I think these are probably gonna shut down sometime soon because of slag. Getting there. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so we shall get phase one 
of the laser gun complete. It's delivered some steel, it hasn't delivered all the steel. So it's gonna come back now, pick the steel up, and then come and deliver phase one. And everything will be awesome. And then we will um, look at what phase two requires. It's gonna require more resources than we have, I think. I might have to sell some aluminium. I will do that. I will go through and I will try and sell some aluminium to somebody. I'm sure somebody wants it. Go on, squash coke cans. Yay, there we go. So we'll leave this one here. We shall come back next time. And we shall continue from there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. Where we won't fail the laser project, we will succeed. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>